appointment so far with her and this is my second one. I have just arrived. I'm actually way early, which is good because then I'm not late, but mm, I am a bit early. I always get nervous before my appointments because, I don't know, I, this is my first time doing them all, so I always just feel like I'm doing everything wrong or like I'm going to do something wrong. So your screening was all low reps. Yep, so it was one in 37,000. There's a little person alive and kicking in there, <laughs> even though you don't have a bump. Yeah, I do. I was like in the stage of like, am I still pregnant? Yeah, <laughs> it's weird, like, eh? I've got a bump and I, I can't feel anything. Most people feel that way. You don't have a bump, you don't feel movements yet. Uh, you feel good. Yeah. yeah. Now that the sickness is gone, I yeah. don't feel pregnant at all. Yeah. So I just finished up in my midwife appointment. Um, my midwife, she's like a community one, like she's not going to come to my birth. But I really like her and I really kind of just like how things worked I don't know it feels like it really suits me so ever since I went on the rod I have become really susceptible to yeast infections and stuff so now I just constantly get them and I've gotten one again and this yeast infection actually caused um, a pink tinge discharge on Sunday night which was three nights ago um, because apparently, which sounds really gross, but I'm going to tell you guys how it works. When you get a yeast infection, the yeast infection kind of burrows into the vaginal walls and basically causes a little bit of destruction, just a teeny bit, just as much as it needs. Um, but yeah, so that's basically what has happened is that there's just been a little bit of irritation and um, bleeding ever so slightly from that but it stopped Sunday night and I haven't had it since um, she says because it's pink tinged it's nothing to worry about but we checked on baby with the fetal Doppler and heart's going strong she actually said in my appointment that she cannot tell me what she thinks the flavor is <laughs> like the sex of the baby because um my baby's heartbeat is actually pretty in the middle it's not super fast and it's not under 140 or anything like it's not super slow which is usually a boy if it's slow and fast if it's a girl but mine is pretty neutral um so yeah and i have no intuition at all of what baby is like i just have no blooming clue um as for the disability um, testing, baby had a 1 in 37,000 chance of having the complications of Down syndrome and other conditions and that is extremely extremely low because basically a high risk where you'd want to do further testing is 1 in 300 and my baby was 1 in 37,000 so that's way way off um, but yeah I guess I don't really have anything else to or do yay I got my package from Okana skincare I'm pretty sure it's a wooden box by the feel oh yeah so here we go oh my gosh okay I'm so excited look at all these goodies you guys I'm so excited about it so I'm going to be doing a first impressions video, I'll probably film that today and get on top of it or should I do it tomorrow, I might do it tomorrow because, but it depends because the lighting's good right now so I might do it today, I'll do it today, I'm not busy. So I'm going to make my smoothie, I've got my kefir which is like a fermented probiotic yogurt, it's actually like a drink, that's what they call it but I just use it as a normal yogurt. It's just like a lot more runnier. And then I've got spinach and kale. So I'm at the very start of my first trimester. Like I've just started. And I am gaining quite an appetite. I realize like 
the portions that I was eating in the first trimester um, are not quite filling me up like they used to. I used to be very full and not eat very much and just vomit a lot in the first trimester, but now I'm eating quite a lot more. I've got my mixed berry, I've got my spinach and kale. I don't have very much left because I used it for two dinner dishes. But all goody. And then my kefir. Oh my god, why did it just explode? Are we actually have some cheese left? I don't know. They're best before August. And it's not August yet. So I'll probably put some chia seeds. Oh my gosh, I'm not strong enough to do this with one arm. So here's my smoothie. And this is my smoothie straw from Straw Thing. It's nice. And the pasta is just olive oil pasta, um, avocado, spinach, um, kale. Oh. And then that's pretty much it. And then I just put fresh avo and stuff with it. I like never eat veggies. All I eat is fruit and carbs, to be honest. Um, I'll eat some veggies, like if someone else has cooked them for me, but I just really don't eat vegetables um so that's why i've been trying to find ways to ease me into eating them so at the moment i've had spinach kale and avocado those are like the veggies that i've had recently Ooh, is it seed huh? this if you guys know any ways any yummy recipes even just for a pregnant gal let me know because i just really don't no much. I'm going to be, I'm putting this into the vlog because this is just like real life. I'm just going to be using my prescription. This is my yeast prescription thing. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna cover like my detail. It's a six day vaginal cream to treat yeast infections. Um, so basically this is what you do. You get the cream in a tube and then you get like a little box full of applicators. So this is what an applicator looks like. It's just like that. Pop it open. And then you basically screw it onto this fill up the applicator with the medicine take it off is you're going to insert the tube into your vagina all the way and then just push all the cream into it and then you do that for six nights every single night so i just wanted to say again like if you're going to be following my youtube and instagram prepare for information to be given to you that may seem a bit personal or a bit like kind of gross because I think that it's just important like our sexual and general health is genuinely so important and it's not talked about much and so especially if you're younger than me and you're like watching my videos and you don't really know about much stuff hopefully I can give you some information I'll just tell you guys the symptoms of a yeast infection uh itchiness um your discharge coming out maybe like yellowy tinge and chunky kind of like cottage cheese or just little chunks in a normal looking discharge and um that's basically it sometimes you can get some swelling down there too but if you're itchy and you've got funky discharge just go go down to the clinic and get some get a checkup get some tests done so I just finished editing the vlog and I never film the outros 
like during the vlog because I just never know when it's going to end or like if something else is going to happen. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlogs. If you have any comments to make, leave a comment down below or you can message me on my Instagram account which is also linked below if you don't follow me already. Um, you already know what to do. I'm sure that if you're watching me, you probably watch YouTube regularly, but leave a like, subscribe if you want to. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Okay, bye!